Hey, it's Mahesh here. I'm with Carlos Costa and uh, I'm at the Gentleman and Rogues Club. And today we're going to take his beard off and make him look like a lovely lady. So yeah, the reason why I'm shaving uh, the beard off today is so I can finish my neck tattoo. I'm um, actually shaving myself. Beep! Um, and yeah, anyway, let's do this, man. Can we do it in stages, though? Yeah, do it in stages. Um, I just want to see how... If you just go and do yeah, that, see how, yeah. that, yeah. how, how weird that yeah, looks. <laughs> so the idea is to actually leave the moustache in the end if we can't save, save anything else. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go on, do it. Even I'm nervous. <laughs> Man, I can feel him touching bits of my skin I've never, I haven't felt in like six or seven years. Yeah, yeah. It's quite smooth, mate. <laughs> so you keeping the cheeks then? Uh, no, it's not weird. We're just doing it in stages to make it fun, but can't keep the cheeks that long. It just looks ridiculous. Looks like your haircut, mate. Have you seen your haircut? I don't think you're at me. What's wrong with you? On that side? What happened? Look at your hair. Good. The one light is like you blended in. And yeah, That's but you only have it on one side. <laughs> the <laughs> other side is blended. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. That's good, that good He's got a nice sharp jawline now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I still have to. I, because the tattoo is going to come here, so... Yeah. So, what do you want to do? What do you want, which, what, which bit do you want to take off now? Cheeks? Shit, man, up to you. You do whatever. Yeah, just careful with the moustache, though. Leave me some chops, man. Oh, okay, let me. <laughs> 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 wow, my face is so wide. Oh, just go in with that bit, man, please. Oh, yes, that was so good. That was so good, mate. I enjoyed that. You didn't see it, mate. It was, it was, that was glorious. We could have it like that. Yeah, I like that. Sort of Mexican prisoner. Yeah. I want to know where your chin is, mate. That's what I'm going to enjoy. <laughs> Let me see from the front. Another one. Yeah, it's Ready? I thought my face was going to be a bit puffy, but it's not. It's actually why. Looks skinny, man. Let's find out where his chin is. Where, where the f is his chin? This is Carlos's new Facebook profile picture. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good day, mate. Good day. I can just feel the, uh, the money just slipping out of the pocket to sponsor you. Yeah, we no longer want to work with you anymore, mate. Cash brand, mate. That's the point. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's, it's when I get death threats because I did it. Yeah. True, man. Oh my god. 
So <laughs> dry, dry fingers. Wow. <laughs> oh. oh wow. I like it. Mate, <laughs> mate I like I like I like the sideburns, mate. Where's your white man at? My hair short. Got it. <laughs> got, it, got it ready to stand by. Shit, you look so different. That's scary. Play dry. I've seen, I've seen, he doesn't look like a different picture, which I've seen. It's like waking up next to a new man tomorrow. Who's this guy? <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute, I just realised something. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> 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 Dave, look! Dave, look! Yeah, that is brilliant. Hey, y'all! Hey, I'm, I'm Carlos's cousin. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> no, Got my sister's my mama, my mama's my brother. <laughs> How do you feel, Jenna? Oh my god. I can't feel yet. <laughs> Are we going to keep the sideburns or not? I don't uh, even know where Get rid of them? You can't yeah. even know that. Oh, sorry. It's funny, but... I won't get any work. <laughs> it grows back. A lot of videos on growing the beard coming up. Mate, I should do mine as well. No, please don't. It's too weird. No, but you're, yeah, but when, when you do that... I do, yeah. yeah sure. I haven't seen it in seven years or whatever it is. It's oh, too weird. I've got a chin. You've got a pretty good chin though, mate. You can pull that off. It's got a strong, it's got a strong jaw. My chin, mate. My chin's got a shit chin. Never. Might as well be up here. Okay then, so we can't call you Carlos Costa anymore because you don't look like him. So we're going to call you Kevin Costa. Who's calling him Pablo? Pablo. Kevin Costa. <laughs> Kevin Costa. Pablo. Pablo Costa. Pablo. I like the moustache. Like I think we should call him Pablo Enchilado. I like the moustache, mate. Let's use a little um, moustache comb. Look at that. That's a good quality item, that is. It's a nice colour, that one. It's a really nice colour. They're all unique as well. Yeah, they are. No, you can actually see my lips now. That's the difference. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go over with the detailers on your face. And then detailers for what? Just for this, just to, Why? just so it's clean and even. All right. And then we're no, gonna. I, I want to have stubble. I actually forgot. I wanted a bit longer, but okay. Just out. Too late. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was feeling so fucking nervous. But I didn't um, all right. Well, we'll clean up this line underneath, then. All right, and then we'll tidy up the face, make sure it's all even. Just you got little areas that are a little bit longer. All right. It's actually not that wide, is it? No. Sunbay through it, mate. It's like... <sighs> All right, how do you feel? I'm actually, I like it. I mean, I really like, I really like the moustache. I actually like it, yeah. I thought I was going to be a bit like, I don't know. He just can't stop looking at himself. L lay back. Why do you think Carlos has got such powerful arms? It's from all the video in. And the heavy bouts of masturbation. Keep your eyes closed.
Uh, tattoo going underneath the chin, yeah? Yeah. He's gone from that to that. He's gone from that to that, really. He's gone from, he's gone from crazy sailor to Mexican drug lord. <laughs> hey, amigos! <laughs> now he goes perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you copying to my face if you want. If you say coming from Sicario. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the So what was a helicopter trip like? Actually cool that was. Was it? Yeah. yeah, it was a bit, it was raining though. Yeah. So we couldn't do the shots we wanted. I've, no. never, I've never been in a helicopter, so. No, I haven't it's my either. second time, but I was, I was a kid. We were when uh, my dad took myself and my brothers just uh, Huh? Okay. Huh? I said all of my five followers aren't they? Five followers. Yeah, I went you Yeah. Who's got who is it? I think it's Mahesh. This is Mahesh. I'm your penis. He's like right on the jugular now, I wouldn't talk, Carla. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, because I'm not, so they do the half marathon, yeah. Do the half marathon, so we don't wait till 11, but it takes three hours in one, they wait one, two o'clock. We still could do it, because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So weird. It's been five minutes. The lips are so dry, man. Yeah. Right? Your skin's quite dry in the chin. You need to get the thing was, I Yeah, that's because I was going to, I didn't wash it this morning. That's like, I was going to cut it, so. I've got a legit reason, though, mate. I'm not being a diva about it. What's your legit reason? That's a legit reason, mate. Okay, we're gonna put this in the skin and a moustache. <laughs> There you go, Carlos. Sam, what are we going to do? Uh, can I go something like that? So like a zero, zero kind of...
and not quite a fade it's kind of a bit rough isn't it yeah yeah and quite high yeah so you want to go like a we, we, we would call that like a high and tight yeah high and tight he's got just one guard there but what i'd be tempted to do is taper this area here make that shorter make that shorter also just like a skin and then yeah zero. skin and then make it into maybe a half and then if you want yeah what was the shortest guard that you were looking at really on the side how short what's the shortest I mean, you would I'd, be I'd, I'd, have, I'd be happy with skin okay so zero, we, zero skin is kind of good okay one. yeah so if we zero we if we if we do a skin fade on that or we skin that yeah and then this is here not blended at all okay cool. so this peaky blinder haircut yeah, yeah, yeah is really left with a heavy line yeah, through yeah. here we don't have to leave it as heavy as that picture we can soften it slightly yeah maybe soften slightly so we can soften it slightly but still leave quite a, a weight line through there can we see what it looks like with the heavy and then go soft yes or is that a, yeah not, no we can do that because we can we, i can make the line quite dominant yeah and then once the, you've got that line and we can always take the line out yeah yeah yeah, that'd be cool. And then really, this top bit, you want to be leaving most yeah, of it, I would imagine. Yeah, I was going to say, like, kind of leave it, maybe a bit of weight. Yeah. And kind of, these bits always come out really sideways. Yeah. So just, yeah. if it could come in a bit. Yeah, so these bits here, you get, like, wingy bits here. They end up like a mushroom. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if I cut that off through here. Yeah. We'll blend that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this, I'm just going to texturize it. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely. All right, so yeah, just yeah. it just feels a little bit lighter. Perfect, yeah. So okay? Yeah, perfect. Okay, my man. So I'm going to go up past the temple because it's a little bit higher, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. I like a high. And so you're doing your masters in photography, yeah? I am, yeah. Commercial photography, yeah. Oh, commercial? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, commercial photography. So kind of more, hopefully they're going to teach us more about the business side, which is good. I did my degree in commercial photography as well, but yeah. I think this is kind of just the next step. And yeah, hopefully it's a bit more in depth yeah um just to kind of specialize a bit more which is cool so what do you do over there just, you work uh no i'm i'm at the moment i'm just kind of packing and um kind of learning and um, and then when i get a bit more experience i can work up to maybe roasting or helping customers with deliveries and uh, machines and things like that but at the moment it's just kind of bagging and learning yeah I'm getting I'm getting used to the smell of the roast roasting of the coffee beans now. Yeah, it's, it smells. It's, it, everyone says it smells. Everyone that comes into the barber shop all says the same thing. They all say, "Oh, it smells like toast," and it smells yeah. and and it doesn't smell like coffee. No, it doesn't. Really. Which is weird, isn't yeah, it? it? Like is you really think weird. that roasting coffee beans would be a really coffee smell, no, but it's, it's not at all. It's a toasty, yeah, toasty yeah. kind of roasty smell which is it's nice yeah it's a really nice smell but what's even nicer is when you're packing you're just opening all the buckets and then you just get like whiffs whiffs of coffee whiffs of each coffee which is super nice okay sam so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna knock all this weight out through yeah. this back area that's your crown you said that's your problem area yeah that's the bit that kind of grows out it, yeah it goes outwards and yeah. then very quickly it starts to look weird yeah um, well, a lot, what, that happens for a lot of people. That The crown area is generally like a problem area for most people. Yeah. You know, when you talk to people about these back areas, generally the, the rule of thumb is either cut it really, really short, so yeah. it's, not, it's not there, so it's yeah. not a problem, yeah, or yeah. you leave it longer so it lays flatter. Yeah, no. But on your hair, it doesn't lay flat, does it? No. It sticks it out. It comes out yeah. perfectly sideways. And as, I, as also as the more you go in on the fade, the weirder it looks on the top because it's a more different. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But, that's yeah. What, that's what I'm, I mean. I'm seeing that straight away by taking by knocking out this little bit of weight through here. Yeah. I'm seeing Instantly. that that shape just goes outwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to just get rid of that weight through there. Perfect. We'll scissor over clipper that. We'll clipper that. We'll probably scissor over comb it and then go through with the clippers as well. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this center bit into the center and we're going to push these side bits down so just i can just define where i'm cutting otherwise what happens is you end up drawing all this top section into the rest of the haircut and i don't we know we're trying to retain as much of the length yeah, okay. so we're just going to separate that out all right sam so once i've knocked it out with a clipper over comb, I can come back in and lay the clipper flat to the head and just go up nice and square. 
And that takes that, that bulk out, that weight out. Yeah. This, that, that, it just gives me room to see what I'm doing. Yeah. So if, if, I, if I just went straight up with the clipper, I will not really, I, it's easy to go up and then go in. Yeah, which you don't want. But, no. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm going straight flat to the head with the comb. Yeah. Gives me a nice straight edge and then I can come in with the, with the clipper and then just finish it off. Sam, put your glasses on. I want you to give me a little bit of feedback about what we're so, talking about here with the... Uh, yeah, I like that kind of, yeah, I like how heavy it is now. Yeah? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go any softer than that. I don't okay, think. that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's I great. Like that. I'm just going to just soften this <clears throat> bottom area like we took, discussed, just because yeah. as it grows out, it just looks a little bit... A bit nicer. A little bit nicer as it grows out. Just gives you, you know, another five or six days maybe on the haircut. I know it doesn't sound very much, but... Well, especially at the moment with lockdown. With lockdown, yeah, it does make a difference. As long as possible. Yeah. <laughs> my, I don't like this. My hair's, I always find it so like flat, so kind of straight. Yeah. And it just, it's, that's what I shaved my head last year to like a, had it on a one all over. Yeah. So I'm just sick of it just being so flat. And yeah. Boring. And yeah. This actually will help. Like, you know, yeah. like what we're doing like right now is Having, having this area here support this bit will help yeah. it stand up anyway. Yeah, yeah. So you'll get natural volume from it anyway. And then if you just use something like you know a sea salt spray, yeah. just to give it a little bit of something. I tend to use powder, but I always worry it dries my hair out too much. Yeah, and also it lays on your scalp. And what happens is with those powders is that they're great. They, yeah, they, do, they, a really good, well, yeah, they yeah. do a really good job, but you must wash them out. Like you need to make sure you wash your hair more frequently. If you're using the powder. Yeah, because the, the powder lays on the scalp and what it does is it blocks the pores and then you end up getting spots on your head. Ah. So the sea salt spray is probably better. So sea salt spray sticks to the hair, not the scalp. Cool. Okay, so we're trying not to soften this line too much because Sam really likes this line, but I'm going in with a pair of texturizing scissors and just giving it a little bit of a softer edge just the, through the blend, through the main hair cut and the side. So you can see that as we push that forward. It just blends a little bit tighter. Okay, so we're not gonna cut any length off, yeah. but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut quite deeply into the hair, just every sort of other centimeter. And what it will do is it will just help you to give you that little bit of volume that you're looking for. Okay, rather than using like texturizing scissors all the way through the haircut, that can make it feel a little bit wispy on the end so this yeah. is quite sh sort of blunt here and i'm just going to come in through here and i'm just taking out little sections okay not that you can see what i'm doing because you've yeah, got your glasses on can't see anything right now, no so. <laughs> is that is that, is that why you're looking over in the top corner over yeah, there yeah, i'll take your word for it <laughs> <laughs> look i said is that a bird over there <laughs> bird over there <laughs> <laughs> and then this is quite a bit longer than the rest of your haircut so Whenever you had your hair cut last, they obviously left that quite long through the front. Yeah, well, last time I had my hair cut, I asked them not to take anything off the top, really. Like, take a tiny bit, Okay. they took way too much. Right, off. okay, so they just didn't listen to what you are saying. So Pretty much, yeah. This front is quite disconnected from the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, so you've got, like, really long, then you've got really short bit here. So that's what they did. What they did was they cut into this and then thought, oh, sh he said, said no, no. Don't, don't care, so we'll leave that bit long. So he doesn't know. So he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, but you did, obviously, because yeah. then you went home and washed it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this forward and I'm going to just take a little bit off the ends here. But what I'm doing is I'm keeping an, I'm keeping all the length here because yeah. this is the longest point. And I'm just cutting through the haircut rather than picking it directly up and then cutting, cutting it and cutting it at an angle as well so it lays longer. But... It's not blended in, it's not connected. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use a little bit of um, sea salt spray. We discussed this, you know, about yeah. you having, about you having um, a little bit of texture through the top. Yeah. You what? don't need very much, it smells beautiful. It does smell amazing, I was about to say that. What, what, is, what is it? What, um... So it's, bit, it's, so it's, it's, it's the, it's the it's, you can pick it up and have a look. Yeah, I can't see. There's no, there's no fragrance. What's the fragrance? Four vices. Four vices is the actual fragrance. Uh, okay. And what they do is they have, so they have a different series of them. So they yeah. have like the gold one, they have a silver one. Yeah. 
and they, and they, they have different fragrances depending on yeah. what you're into. So you can have like, so if you had a big temple beard, smoke, yeah. you'd have a temple smoke beard oil and then you'd have the sea salt spray that goes with it. The matches, yeah. And it all matches. So you're not, carry, you're not wearing four or five different fragrances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you think about, actually most people have at, at least three or four fragrances on their body at once. Yeah. So you've got the smell of your laundry. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the smell of your shower gel. Yeah. And then you've got the smell, the smell from your deodorant. Yeah. Potentially, and yeah. then you've got whatever hair products, and then whatever beard products, beard products, or yeah. oils, or aftershaves. So you can have four or five fragrances on one person, yeah, at one go. So what? See what I'm doing? So I've taken another nozzle off the hair dryer, yeah, because the nozzle will help it to lay flatter, yeah. So I don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. No. And what I'm doing is, I'm sort of massaging the root yeah, whilst yeah. I'm drying it. Yeah, yeah. So when you've got a product in your hair that helps to thicken it up and give you texture. Don't just give it a blast and leave it. Yeah. Actually you sort of work your fingers into the root. And the more movement you give the root area, yeah. the more volume you're gonna create when you're drying it. Yeah. There's nothing quite like a fresh haircut. Oh. It makes you feel so it makes good. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Be walking home so confident. <laughs> so good. So just using the corner of my detailer just to soften up that little blend there. There we go. Sam. Yeah. Looks like we're nearly there. Perfect. Um, I want to put, if it's okay with you, just a bit of finishing product into the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like the facial hair, so I'm going to leave that as it is, if that's okay yeah, with you, because yeah. it looks that's good. good. Um, let's use a little tiny bit of the old money. Old money. So this is a styling balm. So I'm only gonna use a really small amount because I only need a, a small amount of okay, cable. It's quite thick. Yeah. Um, and when you work it into your hands, it sort of- Softens up. Yeah, it? softens up. And I'm not gonna put it in through the front first. Okay. I'm gonna put it in through the Back. main body of your hair. Yeah. Is that so you don't end up with loads in the front and it looks- all, That's what everyone yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone does this. They put their, they put their product in their hand and they do that. Yeah, and then, and then all their products here, yeah. and they got nothing in the back, so you get people with fluffy hair at the back, yeah. and all the products at the front, so and then they wonder why it looks really greasy. Yeah. <laughs> so work through the heavy bit first. Yeah. Then... Oh, that smells amazing as well. Okay, my man. I want you to stick on your glasses. The final reveal. Your spectacles. Yeah, that's sweet. Perfect. And then let me just show you the back. Yeah, that's really nice. Nice, nice amount of heavy, heaviness. Yeah, yeah. nice right. even line through there. Yeah, there's enough heaviness to sort of show off that that's the look you were going for. Yeah, without it looking crazy yeah, heavy, yeah. you know. Without it being yeah, yeah, still looking smart and still looking exactly. Clean, yeah. So I've come to see the gentleman in the Rose Club to get my beard trimmed. So, Mr. Rayfield here is having a beard trim. We'll tidy up. So he's got a really curly beard. He's got really coarse hair. And when you look at the beard from this point of view, you're going to think to yourself, this is too true too transparent. The transparency on the beard here is quite thin here. Really, in an ideal world, what I do is I take it right up there and that would make it look really thick and healthy, but he wants to keep the length. So I'm gonna tidy it up as best I can. I'm gonna take in the weight on the sides. We're gonna trim up the moustache and we're gonna tidy up the line through the cheeks. Do a little bit of the ear hair and go around and do the neck hair. So, like I always do, pull it out from the sides, pull it out from the sides, just trying to find its natural movement. It's really curly, this beard. And if you've got a really curly beard, what you want to do when you style it is make sure you do, or when you trim it, if you're trimming it yourself, make sure you pull it out a little bit, but not too far. Because when you push that back in, you'll end up with 
big dips in it. So like we've done in previous beard trims, backhand, front hand, not changing the sitting position, keeping my position as I am, so I'm not looking at it from different angles when I try to get different sides of it, and then you end up with a lopsided beard. How many miles have you travelled today, James? 90. 90 miles for a beard trim. That's not bad, is it? So you can see that I'm holding my clippers at this angle. So I'm really only using the heel of the blade, just the corner of the blade, and then slicing down rather than coming in flat, in flat, in flat. I'm actually just using the corner of the blade and just skimming the edge of the beard. So only using literally the first sort of three or four teeth on the blade. So just come in, skim it, skim the edges. I never really, unless I do the front, I'm not really using the whole section of the blade. So I want control, I want to be able to control. I can, I can slice through the beard, taking the weight out of it. Take off less, but that means you've got more control. Yeah, when was your last beard trim? Where? When? Uh, about two months ago. Really? Yeah, I didn't do a very good job of it. It wasn't down. Because if you had taken it slowly, it wouldn't be so thin. No. You would like always keep catching up. Exactly. That, At the moment, for... it's still quite tra it's still quite see through. Yeah. Until I wear, unless I wear a black top, it it looks alright. See, this if I wear a white top, it just looks straggling. This is this is where it needs to be. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, just cut it off. It, it will feel weird because it used to stay yeah. that long. But it will look it will look so look, much healthier. Look much bigger and yeah, you cut it to where you think. Okay, mate. So I'm obviously freehanding this. I'm ar yeah, ar arch arching round at the corners. James, James normally has a square, quite a really square beard, but actually it looks a lot thicker with a little bit of roundness to it, just taking that corner off. Look up. I see already this underneath section has caught up with the front of your beard. So the bit that you were saying, you know, you had a bit of hair on the side here, you want to be able to tie back, tie up. You can still tie this up because it's still long enough. And ultimately, you know, if your beard looks wispy, it looks like you haven't looked after it. And it looks like you can't grow a proper beard. So it's about sacrificing a little bit of the length yeah. to make it look much, much healthier. Girth's better than length, isn't it? Girth is much better than length. Mm. On the moustache, what we're going to do to keep with the fullness, I want to keep the length. But just to create a little bit of interest in shape, I'm just going to go in. I'll just give that little V shape in there just so that it opens up a little bit. It's easier for him to work with at home. When you push it out, you get more of a moustache shape. And then when you want to wear it, wear it flat, you can still see your lips and you can still drink coffee and eat food. And, you know, you can still have that big moustache. Big moustache and have the ability to eat and drink without it getting everywhere. So it's a good tip. Just keeping that V shape in the front. So when it comes to styling it, it's about putting the product in and molding it rather than what a lot of people do 
when it's dry, if you put just if you just put oil in this now, and the, and then you just moulded it like that, or a bit of balm, it would just stay like that. Yeah. A lot of people do is they brush it all out, and then they try and reshape it. Yeah. Well, what was there's no point to that yeah. unless it's wet, and then you're drying it. If it's dry already and you just put in product in, just just push it in and allow the the beard to be the shape that it is. So there's a little bit under there, just make it there. So if you're at home and you're shaping up your own your own beard and you're lining it, what a lot of people do is they use foam still. But I think if you use a transparent gel like we're using here. So if you use a gel, you put it on, the main thing that you can do is see what you're doing. So if you if you foam up and you're using a foam then you're going in with a cut throat or you're going in with a blade and you can't see your line you're shaving blind but here we don't want to shave blind we want to be able to see that I want to be able to see the line and I want to be able to pull up the skin come in with my blade it's about letting the blade do the work as well so it's not you know you're not, you're not pushing too hard So this is Beard Brand. This is the what we do the video for. So you've got the Beard Brand oil, balm, um, and you've got the, ra the styling range. But on you, you need a balm, like 100%. When it's wet, oil, dry the oil in a little bit, balm to finish. So yours isn't wet, so we'll use the balm. Really, really nice consistency. Just don't use very much. And it goes a really long way. Like, look how shiny it's made my hands. So it goes a long, long way. Put some free hair. See, it stops your hair from going fluffy as well. You, my friend, had a beard, son. You are done. Happy with that decision? Very happy. It looks good, man. It looks sick. It looks good, mate. Morning, Mark. Morning. So what are we going to do then? Um, same as what we did before. I think you did it really like nothing to whatever it was there and then round the sides, keeping yeah. it fairly long on top, really. Yeah. Went over to one side slightly. Yeah. yeah. So like a zero. Yeah. Zero to hero. Yeah. And then, yeah, you got like a nice, nice bit of hat hair there today. Champ to track. So this is, this is, this is hat hair. This is, this is, this is great. To work with, yeah. <laughs> is, when, when someone comes in like that, you go, "Oh, I can really see the natural movement of your hair." It's all right. We're going to take it all off anyway, because it doesn't matter, does it? And um, what about the beard? Yeah, um, shape it. Shape uh, it. Yeah, take it down at size and just I want to try and grow it a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to try and retain as much length as possible. Uh, so how many weeks was it since I cut it? Five. Five. So just to tidy up, really. So it just needs yeah, to come in, yeah. scoop it in a little yeah, bit, yeah. clean up here. Yeah. Clean up on the lip? Yeah. Yeah? Bit of an overhaul then really today on the hair. But the beard to tidy up. Okay. Okay, Mark, I'm just gonna just dry it. I'm gonna just damp it down a little bit and just dry it through. Just, just to get a little bit of idea about where I'm going with this, okay? So, let's go. We're gonna go zero just below the temple because we're gonna come up and blend that in. Okay. I'm gonna blend the beard in a little bit here. And I've just sharpened up this line just behind the edge of the beard and in front of the ear. Just so we can just see what we're doing. Shows a little bit of space. 
Now, normally I drop it right down, but I think what I'm going to do with marks is I'm going to keep it up a little bit higher. He's got an outdoor job, wears lots of hats and stuff, so make, make it practical, a practical haircut as well as uh, it looking nice. That, that, that sounds better, doesn't it, Mark? Yeah. Look at that guy behind you, Carlos. Look, Fil filming. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He's such a weird bloke. He comes and looks in there every day. He just stares through the window. He doesn't, he's never been in there. He just stares in the window. Right, I'm going to go in with a one. Uh, we're going to go up. And just follow the line. I'm just making preparation, really, for our blend. Working our way around the head, getting down to the O-bone, and then we'll come up to the side. Just making sure that we're keeping it symmetrical rather than working all the way around. Just I start from the front, work my way to the back, and then start the other side. So let's go in with a half and start to just blend this out a little bit. Just slightly circular motions just going round, just making that blend. Just working it in the corner, working it backwards and forwards from one direction to another, just picking up all the hair if I can. And the other way. So it's Valentine's Day today. Yeah, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, everyone. Happy Did you get a Valentine's card? No Valentine's card, what about you? First man is here. You got one? Yeah, mate. Did you get a Valentine's card? <laughs> did you get a Valentine's card, Perry? Perry, did you get one? No, you didn't, did you? You didn't get it. Perry, look at Carlos. One eyed dog. Perry. Perry, he's cute, He is, Perry the pirate. He's cute. So we're going to just open the guard, we're just going to open this ever so slightly. So literally just a fraction, and then we're just going to work our way around this. Just getting that little blend in there. So we're going to damp Mark's hair down now. And we'll start doing some uh, clipper over comb. Yeah, so you sort of, uh, you took your holiday at the right time, didn't you? Yeah, mate. Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, I bet it have been busy today, wouldn't it? Yeah, flowers. Yeah. I have organised a red rose to go to my wife today. Have you? Yeah. What did you pay for that? £10. What made me laugh was, it's the florist that I used, I've used a lot, and it's about three, four doors away from where my wife works, and they've charged me £3 to deliver it. <laughs> it literally, they've charged me, a, they charged me a pound per, per shop they have to walk past to deliver it. I'm like, really? I'm like, I've used you, I, I, on the phone to him yesterday, I've said, oh, come on guys, I've used you loads. You normally just literally walk it down, down the road and, and hand it in, you don't normally charge me. And she was like, well, yeah, we've got to charge something. I went, well, you don't have to charge something, no. Well, we are busy. What's that got to do with it? So if I say to you, mate, I'm really busy today, it's gonna be 50 quid for a haircut. You're gonna, you'll be like, Fair enough, mate. You they, are busy. They deliver first and uses leather sauce, mate. Someone's got breakfast. Yeah, exactly. I do want to try and grow it a little bit. So you're still going to grow the top yeah. out. I'll probably it'll probably get to a certain length and then I'll just ditch it and go back to the choppy sort of short look again. But I just want to so, see how far I can go. With it. So what I might do then, Mark, is I might just draw it back and just see how it sits. All right. Yeah. Um, and I might just take the cutthroat razor to it and just maybe just take a little bit of the weight out of it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, rather than, because you've got a little bit of a wave in your hair as well, haven't you? Yeah. And the thing, about, the thing about putting like thinning scissors through wavy hair is you've got like a wave, you've got, you've got a wavy hair and then you put a straight line through it with a thinning scissor. 
even if you come in downwards on it and chop into it, you're still putting straight lines through wavy hair. That's why some people with wavy hair and they've had loads of thinning done to it, it just stands out all over the place because it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just soften it up with the, thin, with, the, uh, with the razor blade instead, all right? Okay, so I've just dried it through a little bit just to just try and see how it's going to sit. So I'm just going to try and keep as much of that length as possible, Mark, all right? So I'm just going to go through, just through the very ends, just with the, with the cutthroat. I know you want to keep the length as much as possible, just... Okay, so we're just going to go in with the texturizers just for the blend. So we're going with the texturizers for the blend, but not through the main length. Just to soften up that shape. So you watch Beard Brand, don't you, Mark? I do. Yeah. Been watching it for a while. I have, yeah. Yeah, because at first I thought you guys were, for some reason, from the States or something like that. Because I saw Carlos and I thought the accent's not a local accent. And I thought, oh, it'd be good to go to their shop, but I can't because they're abroad. And then I realised you were in Ashley Road. <laughs> I used to live just down the road from there as well, so it's really... So that was probably when, that was probably the videos I was making whilst I was in Austin last year, was it? Oh no, this was a couple of years ago. Oh, so this was just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's got to be, innit? It's got to be, because um, I, was, I was probably cutting hair for the brand for about a year or so before I went out to Austin, even longer maybe. Okay, so I'm just gonna line up your beard a little bit. And, um... Just giving you a little bit of sharpness to it. You've got a nice dense beard here, it's a good shape. Look at Perry. No, it's just inappropriately sitting on customers. <laughs> I'm just sitting on all the customers. Look at him. What are you doing? He's sitting on everybody. He's like, yeah, I'm not. He's not. A, you're not a cat. You think? I think he thinks he's a cat. Harry, sit on his face. <laughs> sit on his face. Sit on his face. He's like, yeah, that's what I do. My wife's like, you're taking the dog to work with you. Yeah, I don't mind him here, as long as he's... So they were here, they were here all day yesterday together. Okay, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna dry your beard through a little bit, just see what shape we've got going on underneath there. Is that okay, it's not too hot or anything? I just want to see what sort of length you've got going on there. As you're growing it out, I don't want to unintentionally cut too much off, do you know what I mean? Just want to give you just a, a good tidy up, but nothing too crazy. Yeah. Who's he play for? Man City. Man City. <laughs> Gary Lineker. Or in America, in America they call him Gary Lineaker. But it's yeah, they call him Gary Lineaker. But it's actually Lineker. I don't know, mate. They, that's why they can't they can't say aluminium either, can they? Yeah. It's, that's why they say aluminium. Laboratory. No, root. It's the root. Yeah. They like that, route. 
<laughs> edit that one out. Edit that slander out. Yeah, but Ralph doesn't yeah, actually yeah, sound. Yeah. Some words are okay, but yeah. Ralph doesn't yeah. sound good. It sounds aggressive. Yeah. Ralph. But also, aluminum and aluminium don't even sound similar, do they? Yeah. It's like it's just a whole new word, isn't it? Yeah. What What pisses me off is that no one sends me a ticket to go out to see them. <laughs> So I can cut their hair. They all. They, I have to stay. Yeah, at, I have to stay at home. From America. I have to stay at home, mate. These guys that you did that took it, both you and Carlos out for lunch. Yeah, they did. Hey, they were like, we're on Long Beach. What, where are they, Long Beach? Yeah. They're right on Long Beach. Yeah, man. Actually, I've got I've got an invitation to go and stay with them guys. So there you go. Yeah, they're, they're, they're nice. They're, they're, they were genuine. Though. Yeah, they they are nice they guys. Like, yeah, yeah. They were genuine. Actually, I'll see them next month. They're coming, aren't they? Yeah, your wife, your wife, your wife, your wife couldn't even see you. <laughs> his, his wife was stood outside and she's like, is he not here then? Like that. I'm like, he's here. And he was right here, right there. She's like, oh, I couldn't see him. She doesn't actually talk like that, but that's my whiny wife voice. Where is he then? He's a very naughty boy. He's not coming out. <laughs> is he even here? That was funny. I was like, what? I'm right here. <laughs> Literally right in front of the window. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, Carlos, where are you? <laughs> Mark, how's that look for you? Yeah. Does that look okay? So I've kept some of the length in the top. Yep. Blended it in nicely through the sides, sharpened up the, the beard for you and on the lip, took it in, kept that length. Really, that was the most important thing, really, just keeping yeah. the length really for you. It just it was a good like MOT yeah. sort yeah. of Five or six weeks. haircut, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's put a little bit of product in there and then a little bit of oil yeah. in the beard. Yeah. Now you're ready to go. Yeah. All right? Yeah, yeah. shorter than that, six weeks ago. You got a fixie out there? Fixie. Yeah. yeah. One of only 500 made. Really? Yes. I got it for a steal as well. A guy at work had it and um, it was left in his garden for about a year, just rusting away. I said to him, do you want to sell that? And he's like, yeah, how much do you want for it? 30 quid. All right, we'll use a spice citrus one today. All right. Just a couple of little drops. There you go, my man. Yeah, that's really cool, yeah. So I couldn't see the back. That's why I wasn't getting excited before. Yeah, but. no, I know. I know. Well, you you know you look a little bit too excited now. That's the problem. That's the. Come on in, Tom. Is it Tom or Tommy? Tommy. Tommy. Uh, welcome. Thank you. You've come all the way over from New Zealand. I have, yeah. The UK. Are you travelling around Europe then? Yeah, I've got um, two year visas from New Zealand. Okay. Um, this is my second year here. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be here. It's a pretty cool place. Cool. So tell us what we're going to do. Well, I'm looking to cut this locks a bit short. Um, so maybe kind of the same as style, but just kind of quite a bit shorter. Yeah. Um, so maybe like short on the sides. A little bit longer on the top, but nothing, nothing too major. Okay. Yeah. You want to see the ears or not? Yeah, yeah, see the ears, I think. So we can cut it, maybe cut it shorter up and over the ear, taper it in at the back, but still keeping some softness and length through the top. Yeah. Some curl through there. Yeah. So if it sort of came like that, yeah. would that be too yeah. short? Yeah, no, that looks fine. So you want quite a, quite a lot off then, really? Yeah. Yeah. Mullet, yeah. Mullet. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we can go. We can go. We can go full mullet. I'm going mullet. I'm growing mine at the back. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You've got the length for a cool mullet. Yes, he has got a cool length. For, what about the beard? Do you have anything with the beard? I think just to tidy up, like maybe along the neck. Can't yeah. Can Clean it up. Clean it. Yeah. Freshen it up. And make it look a bit sharper. You got a good moustache coming in on there, so... Uh, so yeah, so I'm thinking I might keep that. That would look cool. I think maybe we could taper the beard in a little bit more and then accentuate yeah. the moustache a little bit. That would be cool, yeah. 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 Really, really All right, cool. man, yeah. let's do that. I'm not gonna... We don't 
I'm not going to use clippers on it. It doesn't need clippers. It's going to look a bit, I need it to look a bit softer. Yep. Um, so what we'll do is we'll damp it down first, Tommy, and then we'll get started. So tell me about all your adventures. Well, with... Um, You've been traveling around. Did you go around to Europe or did you just come straight to the UK? We came straight to the UK um, and we found some work on the Isles of Scilly, just off Cornwall. Yeah, Isles of Scilly, yeah. yeah. Working at a hotel there, which was... Yeah, yeah it was a pretty interesting yeah. experience. Um, worked there for about seven months and then with the money we saved up, we traveled around um, like Germany and Prague and Poland for a little bit, Christmas markets. Yeah checking those out and were pretty sweet. And then, yeah, came back here for Christmas and this year with the money we saved up, we're just kind of doing a bunch of um, workaways, either here in England or around Europe. Yeah, Kind of just yeah. bought ourselves a car and yeah, just kind of traveling around. Nice. Yeah. So are you, vlog are you vlogging this or blogging this or not bothering? Kind of doing like a photo of the day kind of thing I would. Yeah, what, Instagram it or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, kind of both. Yeah, but we're kind of doing it um, one, we kind of um, switch days to like I do one day, she'll do the next day and then so on and so on. Oh cool. So it's her turn. Have you got, you got a good following or? Oh. Friends and family. Friends and family, yeah. friends and family. So you're not, you're not trying to sort of make like a living out of it or anything like that or? Nah, it's more fun. Just more fun, yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna, we're gonna start at the back Tommy and in between chatting to you, I'm gonna sort of talk about what I'm doing for yeah. the purpose of Carlos being here. We've got, to, we've got to try and make it look like there's a point to him being here. We've got a point to his existence. The initial cut that we're gonna do with the scissors is gonna determine how short we go with, the, with this haircut. And as you can see, it gives, me, it gives me the graduation that I'm looking for when I cut in at this angle. So I'm picking it up. I can see my last section. I'm just going to come down and I'm going to leave all this soft here because I don't want Tommy's hair to look literally like he's just stepped out of a, a barber shop. I want it to look a little bit soft and a little bit grown out still looking because that's sort of like his vibe. Am I right, Tommy? Yeah, that's the one. He's got like that grown out vibe. At the moment, we're just removing the bulk, getting rid of a little bit of the length and just creating some shape now. So, just working our way through the haircut, building up the shape. You can see automatically that you get that softness, you get that bit of texture to it. So what do you miss about New Zealand? And so what do you miss about New Zealand and what's the best thing you so far about the UK? Oh. The people. What is? The roads. The roads, Wait, yeah. The people, yeah. Yeah. My brother says that when he comes over here, he says the driving over here is just yeah. like terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then every, people that from, from America have been over here, you know, that I've spoken to, they all say that the same. Like they find it really difficult driving in the UK, you know. And what's the, what's the best thing you found about the UK then? What's, what's the thing that you liked? Okay, uh, You've gone, God, I really gotta miss this when we leave the UK. <laughs> Nothing. Well, you, can, you can go to another country in half an hour. Ah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Like, so the fact, that we're, the fact that we're in Europe. <laughs> Brilliant. Brexit, well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it's just how old this country is and so much like history and stuff that's in it is really, really cool. Yeah. I think as well. Yeah, I suppose it's one of those things that uh, you sort of make the connections with other people and then and you know that it's going to be hard to come back and get a visa to come back again. Isn't it? Once you've done your two year visa, it's, it's quite difficult, isn't it, to get back again? Yeah. Yeah. But you're here in the barber shop getting a good haircut, and you can and you can take that. Sure about the good haircut. Well, he's getting a haircut. Oh, do you not drive a manual? Oh, does now. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. You didn't before. Oh. So I don't either. Well, you don't know, but you know how to, don't you? Yeah. When I was a kid, I learned, but. But you haven't driven one for a long time. Yeah, but Carlos does it because he's lazy. No.
It's stupid you taking your hand off. <laughs> Off your crotch to change the gear. Why are you taking it off your crotch? Because I'm driving with one hand and the other one just sits there. On your crutch? Yeah. So on why your... do I have to move it to change gear? On your other gear stick. It's just stupid. Man. You've got to put it somewhere. Yeah, you've got to put it somewhere. Yeah. Rather that, that his crutch than my crutch, I suppose. That's why, that's why I sit in the back now. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of just does that while he's driving, trying to get his hand behind him, like, stop it, get off. <laughs> And for some reason, no. he puts me in a child seat as well. It's weird. It's safer though. You only, you only need one foot to drive, and you can have both hands on the wheel all, all the time. Yeah. So, should we take the hair right around the ear then? So it's a little, so it's completely off the ear and shorter in the sides, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're just building up some shape. You start to see that you've got all that nice graduation, that nice texture through there. I'm going to come around and we'll tidy all this up at the very end. But for now, I'm leaving it just because I'm just letting myself give, give myself the option to see how it sits. How long has it been since he's had short hair like this? A while. I think it was quite short when we were leaving New Zealand. Was it? A year and a half. So you've basically just yeah. been traveling and not spending any money on hair. Yeah, it saves money. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna just go around the ear. Just creating a little bit of shape in there. And then, again, leaving it a little bit softer. Because with a scissor, being a scissor cut, you don't want it to look too harsh. Otherwise, I might as well just go in and just clip it all the sides off, so. Isn't that right, Tommy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep the hair coming forward with a bit of direction. Probably go a little bit. Yeah, Josh, what's that noise? What are you doing? Oh, he's watching sparring. Oh, he's back, back sparring, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He is. The only trouble with uh, Alex sparring is that he comes to work the next day moaning, moaning, his arms. moaning that his arms and his back hurts. Tommy, I'm going to do the same on this side because it makes it look better. So it looks even. Yeah. Should do something different on this side. <laughs> Get some pattern going. <laughs> So just take the weight from behind the ear. And then we're going to cut with some direction going forward. Do you have Tim Tams in New Zealand? We do. Oh, that's what I miss when I went to Australia. I, used, I, I, I fell in love with Tim Tams. Yeah. And cherry ripes. Do you have cherry ripes? Yeah. Oh, man. I love a cherry ripe. We were just talking about cherry ripes and Tim Tams. Oh, cherry ripes are awful. Oh, no, they're not. Tim Tams are all right, but cherry Oh, I love a cherry ripe. You're the only person I've met who likes cherry yeah, ripes. Like who, me? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh. Box of mixed chocolates, cherry ripes. Let's set those aside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Post them out to me. All right. Shh. Shh. Quiet. We're trying to film here. He's attacking you. Attack! 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 That's it. Yeah, that is a, that is ferocious. <laughs> It'll try and bite you. He doesn't like to be filmed. He hasn't. That's because he hasn't been given his contract by Eric yet. <laughs> Eric hasn't sent him the contract over yet. Yeah, we can't afford them, it's too expensive. Yeah. Gucci, the dog. You're giving Greg too much money, you can't afford to take him on, that's what it is. Gucci. Okay, so we're gonna go through the top now and have a little look. And we're gonna blend it in. But we're gonna leave a little bit of length for Tommy through the top. Tommy, are you going to wear it over to sort of one side? Sort of push it across one side like that a little bit, maybe? Yeah. Yeah? I kind of like um, either way. Yeah, so you, you swing both ways? Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Okay, we're gonna go a little bit shorter on the crown and then work the way through to the front, just that little bit longer. So we're gonna start at the crown and then bring it back. I'm just gonna take that weight off the crown area. I'm, I'm a bit like Marmite on the channel, I think. I don't think uh, they I, know what Marmite is. Yeah, I, get, I, I give you a yeast infection. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Marmite? We have Vinnie Dillon. Yeah, they have, they have, they have Marmite. No, you have like that. No, they don't have Vegemite. Well, they have both, don't they? Australian. Yeah. 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 So I'm I'm eating the blue marmite at the moment. That's reduced salt. So I'm just reducing my salt levels. I stop eating all that stuff. No, I like I like I don't think I'll stop eating marmite. Do you put do you put marmite in your baked beans as well? No. Oh, it's great. So, or, yeah, if you have marmite on toast and then put baked beans on it or just put a little dollop of marmite in with your baked beans. People call me, people call me a revolutionary, but I think it's a bit extreme, but that's what people call me. You know, they, they, call me they call me the Jamie Oliver of my time. <laughs> Seeming that we're the same age, I probably, he's the Jamie Oliver of his time, probably. I'm probably just not that. What? I'm not talking about the haircut, mate. It's boring. Okay, so we're going to raise. So we're, what I'm doing now? So I'm razor cutting the rest of the haircut out, so we can create all this soft edge. So he's got a curly hair, and if I use um, thinning scissors or texturizing scissors, they leave a straight edge running through a curly hair. So what I'm doing is I'm using a cutthroat razor or a thinning razor and I'm slicing through the hair and as you can see it just gives you that softness. So you've got the initial haircut that's taken the length away and now I'm just going through I'm just picking up sections of hair and doing it visual you know just moving the hair around seeing how it sits if there's bits that I don't quite quite like I, I take them away I'm looking for shape, I'm looking for weight, I'm looking for too much weight in an, in an area. So when we go through the back through here, for example, there's a bit too much weight through here. And then when that dries, it will look a bit bulky. So take a bit of that weight out there. And it's just a little bit lighter. It makes it feel nice and light as well. It makes it a nice light haircut. But it leaves a lot of texture through the haircut, which is great. I'm just following the haircut and then using the razor to go back over the haircut that I've already done and that will just give you that soft edge to it and I've left all this length through the middle at the moment so we can have a little look and have a little play see what we want to do with it see if Tommy likes it if he wants it really disconnected we can have it like disconnected and long and keep it all long like that so we can wear it over to one side and push it to one side we could slick it back a little bit or we can go a bit shorter with the length through the front. What, what, what do you want to do, man? Maybe a little bit um, off the front. Yeah, so it's not in your eyes so much. And yeah, yeah. So what we do is with curly hair. So here's a little tip for people that are cutting curly hair. So curly hair, obviously when we cut hair, we, we pull it tight. We're looking for tension. We let go. We cut it. But obviously with curly hair, it's going to bounce up. And when I dry this, so as soon as you dry this, it's gonna go, see how that comes up to here. And when I pull it out, it's down past his nose. So that's gonna go from there to there without, my, without me even cutting any. So I have to think about how much I'm gonna cut and where I'm gonna cut it from, because as soon as I start cutting this, it's gonna bounce up and then he's gonna end up with a fringe right up here. Um, and it's not gonna look right. So I have to be really mindful about this. So I'm gonna come in and cut at an angle So you can see straight away, it just bounces straight up. As soon as I let go of it, it's bouncing, pinging up. So I have to be really mindful about this. 
So also the other thing I have to do is, while I'm cutting, is just keep pushing it back up, keep moving it around, that looking better. So you've still got that softness in there and you can wear it over this side, you can push it over that side, you know. I think if I go too much shorter with it, you're gonna end up with it just bouncing right up and you're gonna end up with no hair through the front and you're gonna have like a weird, a weird fringe just sitting in there. And it's gonna, it's gonna lose that shape. So as you notice, I've just sort of gone around the edges and then just taken away that little bit of weight that was quite apparent there. And you, and, you, and you can see basically that I'm just leaving that. It just looks like it's grown out. It's got that real soft edge to it. You know, I, wouldn't, I picked up all these techniques over the last 20, six years cutting hair but you know this this is a hair this is this is hairdressing which is you know not a, not a barbering technique really as such okay so we're going to let that just dry out naturally and just see how it dries and then we're going to have a look at the bit the beard so this is a little bit of neck hair under here we can clean that up under there and so allow that to sit over the top okay and then we're going to just clean up the facial hair. <laughs> so just giving that a clean line helps to make it look a little bit more contoured. So that's good. So you've been a really good, yeah, like you've been a really good help. Okay, I'm going to clean up this neckline. You were saying to me that was a bit that was that was a little bit as aggravating you a little bit. That so we're going to clean that up. It changes the shape of your face straight away as well. It's like just marking out the the neckline. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of shape here with a moustache. Okay, I'm going to taper this in with the clippers and we're going to have a little look, see how that shape's forming out. I might just keep a little bit of this length through the front here if that's okay with you. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we're going to go in with a two. Yeah, there's quite a lot of like, what I like to call like well-being festivals now. Yeah. Like, you know, all around the, well, all around the world, but they've really come into their own a lot more, haven't they? You know, I mean, like, I'm working at, I'm working at three this year. So working at, um, one called the Sun and Moon Festival. Uh, and that's in sort of like Surrey. And there's one called uh, the Big, the Big Retreat. That's in Pembrokeshire in Wales. And then I'm doing Menfest, so it's a men's festival. Um, they, they do women fest first and then and then they do men fest afterwards. And that's down in Froome, down in Somerset. So it's like the first one's connecting to obviously the goddess in within and all that. Yeah. And then the divine masculine after that. If that's your that's your thing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a one and just give that a little little bit more shape. You sort of wanna keep I know you wanna keep the beard and you wanna keep it pretty longish, but it's just about giving you a little bit of shape. Alright Tommy? Yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna put some sea salt spray in here. 
and just uh, let it just dry in naturally so I don't make it look too big and bouffant. Is that okay? Yeah? What we what we say, Nana? Do you like it, Tommy? No. I do. <laughs> oh, that means she hates. That means she hates it, mate. That means that means she hates it. She wants you to be yourself, my friend. That's powerful, right there. What she's saying is, I don't like it. So if you like it, that's great. No, I don't think so. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm putting some citrus spice on. It's citrusy and spicy. That's why they call it that. I haven't tasted it, no, it's not something I regularly do. When you put in your beard, you moustache, and that licking a bit, no? No, no, I don't do that, Carlos. Only windows, you only lick windows. No, I only lick windows, the inside of the windows. Bus windows. Yeah, bus windows, yeah. Sunshine coach. Okay, brother, what are we saying? Sick. I like Good it. Good, man. Michael likes it. Okay, so I left it a little bit soft around the back. Sweet, man. So, you, you know, it looks like you've had a, a good haircut, but it doesn't look like you've just had a haircut. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it, you know, you've got that soft edges rather than hard edges. Lots and loads and loads of texture, loads of layers in there. It should, should feel lighter. Yeah. But you've got some direction and movement to your haircut. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? yeah? Lighter and natural. That's it. Hey, this is Mahesh here for Beer Brand. Today we're going to be uh, cutting Ollie's hair at Gentleman Rose Club. Oh, what? Did you see that? <laughs> So Ollie's got a bit of a, well, this is what we call the classic Lego man haircut. He's gone, if he was jaundiced, he would be perfect, but he's not, so. So we have to make up, uh, make up the uh, idea of him being yellow. He if he looked like a Simpsons character, he looked like a Lego man, wouldn't he? Look, look, at it, look, he has got the classic Lego man haircut, hasn't he? Just lift it off. Lift it off. <laughs> so what we're gonna, I think what we're gonna do, we discussed this, didn't we? We're gonna cut it with the scissors today only. I'm not gonna use any clippers. Real loads of texture to it. But I like the length through, through here. What do you think? You have, happy with that? Yeah. And then, yeah, and just take loads of weight out of it and texturize it loads, yeah? So we use lots of different te techniques to sort of give you the texture through the haircut. And we'll do that, all right? Okay then. We've uh, sectioned it off a little bit, just on the sides. So we're gonna narrate through this, all right? So. And we're going to go straight in, scissor over comb. It's no different from using the clippers in the sense that, you know, you start at the sides and work your way around. But this grows out completely differently when it's scissor over comb cut. It will look so much, so, so much softer when it grows out and the finished effect is softer as well. We're looking for texture. So we'll go through with the scissors to take the length that we, that we don't want away. And then the rest of the haircut will be done texturizing scissors and different techniques. So repeating on the other side, what we've done on the first section, just taking away some of the length through the front. Scissor over comb. I was, I was gentleman, mate. I bet you were. I might have been alive. Yeah, you only went on one and you matched him in, that was it. No, exactly. Quite a few, mate. So we're cutting the angle against the hair growth. So the, the hair grows one way. I'm going to push the hair away and cut against it. Now, when I push it back, it will lay flatter. So I work away 
across the hair growth and when I push it back it lays flat. Just creating some shape now. Scissor over comb all around the edges. I'm just doing a check the length. Go back through this section. So you can see that I'm going, I'm cutting at an angle that the hair is going to sit at. So you can see the way that the hair is moving around the head. And what I'm going to start to do is incorporate the top and blend it in with the sides now. Can I just uh, say for the record that this is not a fade? This is not a fade. This is not a fade. So I'm cutting out the angle. Have you noticed that every time I pick up my section, my actual my, my hand is pointing in the direction I want the hair to fall into? So when I pick up a section and I want it to sit this certain particular way, my hand, my fingers are pointing in the direction that I want it to go in. Uh, and you can start to see that it just softens up that shape. We're going to keep some of the length at the front. Am I right, mate? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so through the top, we're going to really texturise that and blend it all in. Take because you, you know, it's, it's heavy your hair, isn't it? So we want to take that weight out of it, don't we? So we're going to leave this crown here. I'm going to keep that little bit of length through there just for now. So I'm going to completely ignore that. I'm going to go straight in front of it. Take my first section, and then I'm going to cut from my finger up and out. And then I leave some hair to retain a little bit of length. Nice deep sections, gives loads of texture. Just resting the scissor on my finger and just sort of seesawing the action. And yeah, you will end up with strands of little bits of hair just coming through. The whole point of that is that that's what gives you the texture, and that's what gives you that softer effect with a haircut. And we'll work our way back from the front, connecting the top to the sides, picking up the sections, working our way back. No more Lego hair. So we've still get the, still kept the length there. I haven't cut any of the length away. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy it all the way through, okay? So that's the one. That's, that's, that's the look that he was going for. When he came in, he was like, that is exactly what I want to go for. Yeah. Okay. What I want to do is draw it through and then we'll see if we need any more off the length and see if we need any more texture cut through the hair. Because at the moment I can't really tell when it's dry. All right, so we'll do that and then we'll tidy all the edges and take it from there, okay mate? So we're using the nozzle, allowing the nozzle to do the work. So we're not trying to get too much volume in the hair really. As you can see, if you come closer, Carlos, 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 as you can see like where we've texturized the top, you can see that there's lots of layers in there. The hair separates out by itself. That's the, that's the look we're going for. We dried it through and now we need 
some texturizing scissors. So the initial the initial work that we've done is all about you know building up the shape, uh, taking the length away that we need to take away. And now we're going to just create softness and texture with the texturizing scissors, and literally going to go over with the very very ends of the hair. It really softens up the whole haircut. So I'm using a really nice long tooth comb getting nice big sections through. And so the tip would be, you could do this on any haircut really, but it's all about just, just touching the very, very ends of the haircut. It just gives it that slightly softer finish to it. And this, is, this, this haircut is all about just, you know, just a classic short back and sides really which we don't do loads of in the barbershop and we don't use our scissors a lot so it's nice to actually see someone coming in and asking for something like that and then through the front what I want to do is I want to obviously soften this up so he doesn't end up looking like a Lego man all the time so we're going to come in through this way I'm going to pick up the hair I'm going to really soften it out. The reason why I'm coming in this way is because this is my length at the fringe. And if I come in this way, I can always retain the length in the fringe. If I came in straight through, I just keep picking it up, picking it up, picking it up, and I'll end up taking more and more length off. But this way, I'm only taking the weight out and adding texture to the hair. Tidying the edges up, and this sort of haircut doesn't come alive until you've put a little bit of product on it. Really, that's when it really, that's when it really looks its best when it's been given a little bit of product. Okay, I want to show you something on uh, Ollie's hair. So Ollie's got, if you look here, he's got what basically is like a crown there. So it's a, a hair, hair pattern, hair growth there, which makes his hair grow funny. So I am going to go in. <coughs> with a clipper guard, just a one, and just push it up, and then come back down on top of it. Just to soften it up. Close the guard, and that just blends it out. Okay, so this just looks like a pretty straightforward haircut and then when we put a little bit of product in it that's when you see all the texture so I'm going to grab a little bit of, uh, uh, of a matte texture product how's that mate yeah yeah smiling with a face that's it. Smile with a face, not just with the uh, the heart. Yeah. Toby, I'm at Gentleman Rogues Club and I'm getting my hair cut by Mahesh. Bit of a restyle today, is that right Toby? So, I think... Ah, oh, Master Roshi! Master Roshi's here! <laughs> he appears in uh, all the videos we do. <laughs> So, I think the best thing to do is... 
We're going to go in short, back and sides. I think we'll go in with a two to start with then, because you said a two or a one. So we're going with a two. Whatever I do today, it's going to look completely different, isn't it? So, because you want to get rid of most of this through the sides and the back, you want it to be a lot shorter on the crown. It's obviously just weighing you down, is it? It's just, it's just getting on your nerves. It's quite frazzled over the front here, isn't it? This is really dry, and so we can razor cut that and get, we can take that all out. Um, and I'll razor cut a lot of this top because it's really heavy, um, but I want to keep some of that length. Is that okay? Cool, let's do this then. I'm only sectioning like the top. I'm not sectioning it down to the crown. This is where the main core of the length is going to be kept. So I'm just keeping that out of the way and well protected. So just keeping it nice and clean, nice and tidy so I can see what I'm doing, what's going on. So we're going to, we're going to narrate through this, all right? So um, what's, what's with the change then, man? I've just been long enough, really. It's been... <laughs> Six months since really I had the last haircut to be honest. Really? Yeah, it's been a long time. Um, and it's just bugging me. Really. Getting on your nerves now. Too heavy. Yeah. You got really nice hair though. It's like mm. colour-wise and just the condition of it's nice. It's like Polynesian hair. It's got that like colour to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, mullet would be cool. <gasps> Mate. He's not, he's not looking like he's happy about that. He doesn't look like he's going to go for that. He can grow a little moustache. He can. He could grow a little moustache as well. He, go, he could go full 70s. So we're just going in with a two and just taking out all this bulk that we want to get rid of and then we can clean it up in a bit. It's quite, it's quite a, amount, a large amount on the floor. <laughs> You can give it out. You can maybe put it into like little necklaces and give it to girls that, that fancy you. Here's here's a piece of me with you. I do that with my beard hair. So what do you do then? You at college? Um, I actually I'm training to become a stunt actor at the moment. A stunt actor. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Wow. So um, it means that you've got to do loads of martial arts and stuff? Yeah, and martial arts and gymnastics and all that. And then I also, I coach gymnastics and parkour at the moment. Do you? So yeah, the, the uh, Dolphin Centre in Paul, we've got a facility there. Have you, man? Yeah, it's, uh, it's called the parkour. parkour. Parkour, you know, free running. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, it's what me and you do at the weekends. Parkour. What we do is we nick stuff so it's free and then we run. Jump over walls. Yeah, jump over walls. Fences. Yeah. Swim across lakes. Car. Which is annoying because I, I nicked a TV, so I just ruined it. Uh, I wish I hadn't done that. Use it as a, a board. I use it as a, as a float, yeah. I was like that. I was like that with a, with a widescreen TV just swimming. Okay, Toby, so I'm going in with a one now. Okay, we're just going to take the... The bottom section of your hair just a little bit shorter just to give you a bit of shape to the haircut all right building up that shape now because the thing is when you're used to having it so so long you either have to do one thing or another you have to just give it a bit of a trim up so it's easy to deal with or you just go full pelt like you've done and just get rid of it otherwise if it if you, otherwise you end up in this really weird in-between space where you you're sort of trying to have a short haircut but you also can't you know you, you can't let go of it so you you come in with the right attitude of like just cut it off and let's you know at the end of the day you're 17 years old so you've got time you've got time for it to grow back mate yeah
Yeah. 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 I'm not. Toby is he? You can just tell. You can tell. You can tell by his hairline. He looked like um, some cocoon when he came in. Yeah. <laughs> was that the look? That was a look. Some cocoon. Dragon Ball. Oh yeah. Someone must have figured out Facebook. What they said? It said, 53-year-old Portuguese model likes looking out of windows. Likes, likes drinking other people's coffee. Moaning about it. Moaning that it's not nice, but he'll still drink four pints of it. <laughs> yeah. That That's just basically that sort of stuff. Yeah, all that. Well, there you go. They make you finished. So you can see the uh, section I put underneath. That's the one I previously cut. And I take a section here, and I use that as my guide. So this is the length that we're going to cut it to, and we're going to cut at a slight angle, so we're not cutting any straight lines into the haircut as, as we're, not, we're not coming in cutting straight lines. We're always cutting through the haircut. And we're working our way around the head. And we're just trying to get rid of a little bit of this length around the crown area. My new stuntman friend here is not keen on the, sh on the longer crown area, so we're going to go shorter for it. Okay, so we're bringing each section down, we're cutting at an angle, so shorter at the crown and longer, so I'm holding the hair in the direction I want it to go. I want to come down at an angle, so the hair ends up being longer through the front. Sweet! So we're going to cut the hair at an angle now. So I've cut that. Wow, that's so much hair. Man. I've cut that initial short section through here, and that's my guide. And as I come forward, I'm cutting in the hair at an angle going upwards. So I'm cutting it from long point down into a short point like that. And that's what creates that shorter to longer effect and then using that section as a guide, I can then start to work my way through the haircut. But this is a lot of hair. Do you grow it yourself, mate? Um, only on Tuesdays. Only on Tuesdays? Mate, that's a lot of work for a Tuesday. It's Tuesday today. Well, so that's, why, that's why I'm struggling, because yeah, it's, he's it's growing, growing here. <laughs> he's growing. I'm cutting it, and then he's like, I'm pushing it out of his head. So we're starting to see a bit of a shape building up now. I sort of like the length yeah. Yeah, through here, but we're going to take loads of weight out of it now, okay? Is there anything you want, anything you want me to tweak while we're um, going through? Do you want to go a bit shorter somewhere else? No, or? it's similar, actually. Yeah, seems yeah. okay. So the nice thing about using the razor is that you get to keep the effect of the length, but it mm. takes a lot of the weight out of the hair. So you don't have to sacrifice all the length of your hair just so that it, it can feel a bit lighter on your, on your head, you know? All right? Yeah. And I noticed that you had quite a strong crown. So although you want the crown to be quite short, what I've done is I've kept a little bit of length in there sure. just so it doesn't keep popping up doing that too much because yeah. if I went any shorter than this it would just stand up sure. all right we're going to texturize the edges just to soften up that shape a little chop in just to take that little bit of weight through that middle section so you get a little bit of texture to it now yeah no, it's nice you've got good hair to work with me
He'd make a good model, wouldn't he, Carlos? ready put some product on it and you are done how do you feel about it yeah it looks good this anything i was thinking yeah possibly i just say anything about this front bit possibly yep take, take a bit off yeah sure so if you want to keep the length so it comes a little okay, bit thank you very much. maybe across the, like that yeah yeah, that's fine. yeah. we'll razor it off And that way you don't get any like hard lines when you cut from a when you when you cut it with scissors it always look a little bit sort of new. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, a sure. brand new haircut. So I want, it, I want it to look softer. So we'll just cut it like this, and you end up with slightly softer edges. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. That, does that feel better? Yeah. A little bit more off, or is that? Uh, just a tad. Actually, that's fine. Yeah. I would say if you go too short, it'll end up just looking like a fringe. Yeah. So if you're going to wear it slightly over to one side, you do need that little bit of elongation through there. That feel a bit better. Okay, let's put a little bit of product in. And you are done, my friend. Okay, mate. So we've got really short on the top. Okay, longer. Happy? Yeah. Hey, it's Mahesh here. I'm at the Gentleman and Rogues Club in Bournemouth, and today I'm going to be cutting Ricardo's fringe <laughs> and beard. <laughs> my distinct lack of fringe. What I, what I don't want is I don't want my fringe going in my eyes. Or looking like Tom Jones. I don't want to look like Tom Jones. <laughs> It's not unusual. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Okay, Ricardo. So you've got an elaborate name, haven't you, for... Portuguese name. You've got a Portuguese name for a white Welsh man. <laughs> there, there is a story. Oh, go on then. I'm li I like stories. So, my, my name, uh, my, my birth name is Rich. Richard is boring. Um, but my, my grandfather, um, my grandfather always, always called me Ricardo after Ricardo Patrese, the Formula One driver. I have no idea why. Right. Um, but a couple of years ago, when, um, when my gramps um, passed away, um, it just started to stick and my family just started calling me a little bit more. Um, and so, yeah, now quite regularly I go by Ricardo. I like it. Yeah. It's a cool name. Because of my gramps. And it's a nice, re that's a nice, what a nice reason to do it. Because of my gramps. Well done. Thank you. What was his name? Him, Ray. Ray. Uh, Ray. 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 We'll dedicate this video to Ray then, shall we? Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, so you've driven a long way. A long way. Four hours taking you to get here. Four hours. Traffic. For a fringe trim <laughs> and a moustache tidy up. Yeah. Okay, so as we can see, I want to tell, I want to show the people this. So, how long have you been growing your beard out? Um, about three and a half months. Three and a half months. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna turn the music down, mate, because it's too loud. So you've been doing, you've been growing your beard out for three and a half months, mm -hmm. and you said to me that. You have an issue with the moustache, mm -hmm. and I can see that you're having an issue with this. Yeah, yeah. 
and you said you hate this bit <laughs> and this bit. So this is really gonna be a great video for those people that are growing their beards out for the first time or second or third time who will come across these issues when they're growing their beard out, won't they? Okay, so what I'd like to do is we're gonna retain the length through the front. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna taper in these sides and we're gonna get rid of that. Okay. So we're gonna create this shape like that. Cool. All right? Yeah. We're gonna clean up the line maybe give it a little taper so it blends in with your hair mm -hmm. and what i probably will do is cut a little v in here and then just start to shape out this mustache now you've got a good mustache mm -hmm. it just needs tw tweaking and tidying and making look some tender loving kid yeah it needs a bit of tlc so with the hair you normally just clipper it down to the wood yeah, yeah. but um i think what we'll do is we'll do the the clipper on the top just down to the wood and then we'll just foil the sides in just to give you a bit of shape so when it grows out it lasts a little bit longer um and then we'll tell you to f off cool all right Med. okay we'll do the hair get that out of the way first cool. so i'm gonna in integrate the beard by just cutting that line in and we're just gonna go in bare clippers I'm just going to take this off. You're perspiring a little bit there. Yeah. Are you are you just hot naturally? It's just warm today. You just you just you, I can feel it coming off of you. <laughs> it's also I'm I'm in England today, so your weather's better than ours. Is it is it you're nervous that because you, you're surrounded by lots of English people? Yes, definitely. There's no prejudice in here, mate. <laughs> you're all right. So I'm going to be in Spain next week. Really? And it's going to be 38 degrees out there. Wow. I'm probably going to melt. Yeah, we, we, won't, we won't see each other for about two weeks, Carlos. Yeah. Good. Need a break. Okay. Ah. Oh. Now that 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 service, isn't it? Joe, you know I I came I came for the haircut and trim, but I stay for the service. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, mate. So I just got my dryer on cold. We don't have air conditioning in here, so so a little bit of talc on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Just to try and counteract some of that moisture. Okay, Ricardo. You ever had the foils on the side of the head? No. So it will just take it literally down to nothing. Um, hold on. Before we do that, let's take the shape in here. There you go, Jack, there's your thumbnail. So just have a little feel of that. Wow. That's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Smooth as a bonnet of a Porsche. Oh. Smooth as a bonnet of a Porsche. Yeah. So we're not going all the way up with these foils. We're just going around the edges. Just so that when it grows out, it just looks like a bit more of a shape. Because at the moment, it won't really look any different. Ricardo's quite f fine hair, so it won't really look that different foiling the back and the sides. But when it all settles down, you can see his skin goes really red when you use the foils, but that will just calm down. That's blood coming to the surface. You've got quite sensitive skin? Very. Yeah. So that's just blood coming to the surface of the skin because I'm aggravating the skin. That's why I put condition. That's why I put um, talcum powder on your skin first. Yeah. 
just to stop it from getting so much friction. Okay, so as that grows out, that'll look, eat, it'll look a bit more like a shape. So if you leave it for a couple of weeks, the sides will be a bit shorter than the top, so it won't look so tennis ball when you grow out. All right, man? With, so with Wimbledon over the last couple of weeks, I felt like, I felt like a tennis ball well, the last few days. Well, I mean, I felt like a cricket ball <laughs> as, we, as we won the World Cup. I say we, um, I didn't really have anything to do with it. I mean, I trained everybody, but well, apart yeah, from that, obviously, what, what else did I do? Nothing. So now we've done the hair, we don't have to worry about that so much. And it gives me an idea of like where we're going to blend the beard from. So uh, what I'm going to do, because we've got this ridge in here, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna dry it out a little bit first. So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of styling balm in and we're gonna dry that and then I'm gonna style that out, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Four Vices one on, okay? Have you smelt Four Vices before? No. Okay, so it's nice. It's got a real subtle smell to it. Yeah, it's nice. So a little tiny bit. So I'm not gonna use very much. A little bit goes a long way. That's what I tell the wife anyway. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm stroking your beard. Yeah. As I'm stroking my, your beard. Okay, so we're gonna get the round brush. I'm gonna turn it under and use the nozzle It does smell nice, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like when you dry it in, you can really smell it. This is the area that's causing the issue. This area through here. So I'm going to just take that off through there. Now it looks like I'm taking a lot off, but actually it will change the shape of the beard quite dramatically. And actually, the length is not coming off from the front where, this is where the length comes from in a beard, mm -hmm. not from the sides, okay? So this is all about just creating the right shape for you and taking away the areas that you're having problems with. And what I did do was when I dried it, I dried it the opposite way to way, the way it was growing. Right. So that it, when you're drying your beard and you notice there's a kink going one way, if you dry it the opposite way to the way that the kink's moving, you'll find that actually you can, you can get rid of that kink a lot quicker. Okay? Oh, cool. So if, if the kink's pushing your beard forward, dry it back and then dry it down. So just soften that line slightly there. Take away that back bolt. And this is all about you now having to maintain this just during the, the duration of like the growth. So this is gonna be the, the initial new shape of your beard. Mm -hmm. And then it's all about you then taking that shape and going, right, okay, so this is what I want from my beard really. And then anyone who's sort of growing their beard for, that, for the first time and they're getting these issues, so if you've noticed, actually, now all I've done is, from the front, all I've done is evened it up. It actually looks like a longer beard now because 
the focus isn't on these sections through the side, mm -hmm. focuses on this front bit of your beard and it looks completely different. But it's about a shape. It's mm -hmm. about, about creating shape and, and working with what you've got. And some intention behind it. Some intention behind it, yeah. You know, a lot of people will come in and go, okay, we're just gonna take that shorter because it's annoying you. Well, I haven't actually taken it really shorter. What I've done is I've just created a new shape in there that's, that's working for the, the way that your beard grows. All right, so I'm gonna taper these little edges in just slightly. So I'm gonna come in with a two and I'm gonna open my guard up just halfway. So it's 2.5 really, and I'm gonna come down and I can hear how much is coming off. And I'm just gonna soften that edge with it. And then you can see from, from one side to another that that's got a lot less weight now to it. It won't kink out, you won't get that issue. Whereas this side, because it's still got quite a bit of weight on it, you still might get that kink coming in here, but you, I haven't touched any of that length through the front. So all it's doing is scooping down, just taking off that little bit of weight. And then I'm just coming along the line and just taking out that. Um, and I'm listening to what uh, Clipper's doing. So I know how much is coming off every time I scoop down. Okay, just look up for me a little bit. Okay, back down. Back to your moustache. So I'm gonna keep the length through this section here and I'm just gonna take an angle ever so slightly through here. Because you said to me, when you look down, it's almost like looking at a spider. Mm -hmm. It's just the, 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 the shape of your moustache, really. It's just it's how it grows out. Some people's moustache grow outwards, which is what yours is doing. Just, you know, some people's naturally just curl over, mm -hmm. and yours isn't doing that at the moment. Right. But as you grow yours out, you might find that it eventually will do that. But for now, Let's just give you a better shape. A bit of shape. Something that you can happily, you know, sit with and live with. Yeah. Look better? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look like the same beard, does it? Not at all. So we're going to just put some, for, I think we've, because we foiled this, I think I'm just going to just taper this in with the cutthroat, clean it all up with the cutthroat, and then the hair underneath your beard, I'm going to leave to soften so that you're not going to constantly have to clipper it all the time. All right, okay. and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so where your, where your beard's naturally, your neck hair, I'm just gonna soften that on the edge. Okay. Okay, because I know you wanna sort of grow this down a little bit. Yeah. And all I'm gonna do is, by clippering this off completely underneath here, it's just the way that your beard grows up and out. If I keep clippering this underneath here, it's gonna, constantly be itching because you're constantly having hair regrowing okay. okay and you're going to find that your beard won't thicken up because this is the bit that's going to make your beard thicken up right. okay yeah so all i've done is just soften those edges on the 
on the neckline. It will, you know, when you look forward, look, it will look clean and tidy. Cool. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of cutthroat across the... Oh, don't do that. <laughs> you shouldn't jump then. That's because I'm, that's because... Because I'm, that's because I was like relaxing into just stroking his face. <laughs> I bet you're glad, Ricardo, I wasn't shaving you then. Um, a little bit, yeah. This is my first time with a cutthroat. Is it? Yeah. So your first time with a cutthroat mm -hmm. and the first time with a foil today. Yeah. We take, we're properly taking your virginity today, aren't we? You have. First, first time to Bournemouth? Second time to Bournemouth. Oh, oh, I, I was going to say, he's from Wales. If he hasn't been to Bournemouth, that's really bad. Everyone from Wales has been to Bournemouth, mate. Right? It's their uh, holiday destination, isn't it? We, I, well, I, I came here, came here with work because it was, wasn't as interesting as a holiday. First time with Gentleman and Rogues Club as well. My first summer in Bournemouth, I went down to the beach. All I could hear was the Welsh accent. <laughs> that was 10 years ago. I'll go and see if I can find any of my countrymen and stuff down there. Look at that big old Johnson. <laughs> okay, Ricardo, what are we saying? Oh, Adder Air Fog or something like that. That's Welsh for excellent. Oh, wish. Mein wish. Mein wish. Yeah. Sounds German. I, I know. I'm rubbish at Welsh. Where are you from? From <laughs> Wales. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> so the, the thumbnail to this is Mahesh cuts the worst Welshman's <laughs> beard ever. I'm the worst Welshman in the world. Okay, so let's put your glasses on. Can you see well without your glasses or not really? I can see all right without my glasses. Yeah, so. Wow. Uh, as they say in Wales, fabulous. As they say in Wales, me uh, mega. 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 So, what I'm gonna show you is that shape there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you won't you won't get that that issue that kink. kink yeah. Out. And I've just tapered it ever so slightly as it goes in towards the hairline, which you can see is like there's nothing there, and then there's a little bit of hair just on the top, like I say. So when it grows out, it looks better. Super cool. All right. Super cool. Okay. Cool, man. Mm -hmm.